Taxi! We have all wanted a taxi at some time or other, whether we be in London, Paris, New York, or even downtown Beijing. Providing we can find one, of course, we can almost guarantee we will travel in relative comfort and privacy and not have to share with anyone else. But here in South Africa, if you shout for a taxi, you could be in for a surprise. Taxi! Excuse me, can I... Uh... Thank you. Are you okay now? Thank you. Okay, no to go The word taxi in South Africa is unique because it is thought of as a carrier for black and coloured workers only to transport them from the townships to the place of employment and back home again. It conjures up amongst a minority population as a vehicle that is unroadworthy, overloaded and a menace to other road users. Shootouts by rival taxi companies can not only result in passengers getting caught in the crossfire, but innocent road users as well. But the majority of taxi drivers are law-abiding citizens just trying to earn a living like any other taxi driver in the world. So how do they operate? Unlike the familiar London black cab patrolling the streets looking for fares, these taxis work on a similar principle to buses, taking a specific route, collecting passengers along the way and dropping them off at designated points. The majority of blacks that have settled in the Cape come from the Siskai. And although they can speak English and Afrikaans, they prefer to speak their mother tongue, Corsa, which is just one of many native languages in South Africa. Okay. Back at the taxi rank, Zoloiza prepares the vegetables for the 70 to 80 lunches she expects to serve each day for the drivers. During the quiet period, taxis are given a quick wash over and made ready for the evening rush hour. Some of the taxi owners have decorated the outside of their taxis in elaborate artwork from pop idols to wildlife, while others prefer to entertain their passengers with an overpowering sound system. A two-way radio system enables taxis to be sent to a departure point immediately. At the end of the day, the taxi rank is a hive of activity. Everyone wants to get home after a hard day's work. Marshals direct passengers to the right taxis, a maximum of 15 people cram into each combi. Every seat is precious. Babies, bags and possessions are carried on their lap. The majority are domestic workers, office cleaners and maids, all trying to eke out an existence on a minimum wage. It is estimated that just in Somerset West alone, over 5,000 people are ferried to and from the townships each day. Public transport as we know it in Europe does not exist in Southern Africa. Yes, there are trains and buses, 
but not always accessible to the townships. Shacks are springing up overnight as an estimated 1,000 people a month pour into the Cape from all over Africa looking for work. Taxis may be the curse of other road users, but until there is more accessibility to public transport, they will always play an important role in our society.